What is going on everyone? This is your man King May coming back with y'all right here on the King May YouTube channel. Y'all, today we are back in Mercer County and picking off where we left off from before. We uh we got out here and we got everything tetted and everything has turned. We also were able to get out here and rake and we ended up getting some of this grass picked up. Well, I should say it was Windroad Alfalfa. We got some of it picked up anyways. And at least a few loads back into the harvest store ready to go we got that fermenting to get our haylage going right here on mercer but anyway we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna keep on bailing here this morning and then we need to continue our day after that with heading on over to the neighbor i i did end up giving the neighbor a call and they had some corn stock bales that were kind of sitting around so we're gonna go ahead and pick up a couple of those i am going to pay for them so he was completely fine with that we're gonna get those corn stock bales back to the farm though and we're gonna end up taking care of our calves with that today we're gonna get the the pens all bedded up that's gonna be the primary focus for today seems how we do have them pretty well set with their ground feed and milk replacer and of course we need to start looking at their other food sources here as well they are there's a few of them that I'm utilizing the milk replacer to get them by for right now until they have weaned off of that. And we're going to eventually be getting them some more dry food. So we're going to go ahead and start looking at more food sources for that later on. But aside from that, we just need to continue going on bailing up what is left out here of these fields. And these are going to be our hay bales. So we're also going to have to get these picked up and start getting them stored back at the farm ready to go for this fall and in th into the spring of next year for all of our dairy cattle as well as our calves so as we're moving along with bailing here if you guys have not subscribed yet to the king may youtube channel make sure you go ahead and do that i greatly appreciate it, it helps me out and helps the channel and of course if you like today's video go ahead and smash that thumbs up button for me and of course let me know down in the comments below as well we are out here today with the 560m round baler from john deere we're also pulling that behind the two-wheel drive 7810 all right we just wrapped up that field we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna head on back to the farm now i need to get going with some other things here before we continue with bailing yet today as you guys can see we do have the chopper box all set up there with our four-wheel drive 7810 we we're using that one to bring back our chopper boxes to get our haylage unloaded into the blower for that harvest store there but for right now we're gonna go ahead park this two-wheel drive 7810 right down here oh, what should we take today hmm i'm thinking we go ahead we take the dodge today we're gonna go ahead and rip our way out of the garage there and head on down we need to get this other chopper box that was left on the field back to the farm we're gonna get it situated on our other field so that it's ready to go once we do have our other field ready to cut it is getting there it's it's just not quite there yet we're gonna have to probably give it at least a few more days here before we can go ahead and cut that field there we go got that hooked up we're gonna go ahead and take her take her easy on the way back to the farm though we don't want to go too crazy with the chopper box behind here pulling around we're gonna go ahead and dump this chopper box right here this should be a good spot for it there we go got that disconnected now the main reason being is i only did a couple of loads so far for haylage once we go ahead and cut this alfalfa field we're gonna get it raked right away and we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we get it all picked up with the chopper and the haylage head there the pickup head as some would call it and we're gonna go ahead and get those loaded in the chopper boxes and we're gonna get them in for our haylage for the year or i shouldn't say year because we are gonna have another cutting net out here at least but at least getting us going and ready for this winter here shutting down the old dodge now i am gonna go ahead run on over into the four-wheel drive 7810 we're gonna get this chopper box out there as well i just left everything hooked up ready to go just so we can go ahead hook right onto our john deere pull behind chopper there later on once we cut this field we're gonna go ahead and stage this one down just a little bit further i'm i'm sure these aren't even the spots we're gonna need them there we go got all that disconnected and we're gonna go ahead and get this hooked up to the moco mower here there we go got everything connected we're gonna go ahead and leave that 7810 there getting the old 4440 fired up here 
Oh my goodness, I missed it. It was, <laughs> it was a little bit of a cold start there for you guys. I don't know how, it's summertime. Uh, she is an old girl, but she still runs pretty good for us here. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to back up to that bale spike, though. I'm going to go on down the road. Yeah, we're going to get that corn stock bale now. Pulling out of the neighbors now. We got that corn stock bale. We're going to go ahead and get this bag to the farm. It's conveniently close. Our farm is right over there. We're going to go ahead and get this on back. All right, pulling on into the calf barn here. There we go. We got the old 4020 over here hooked up. Hopping out out for right now. We're just going to go ahead and use the bobcat here. And yes, yes, I know it's got the old paddle forks on it. It's okay. I don't exactly feel like running over and grabbing the bale spike as of right now. All right, there we go. We got that taken care of. We're going to go ahead and put the 4440 back on the other side of the farm here. Now, there was one more thing I wanted to check before we go ahead and continue bailing, and that was these bins. We need to start getting these ready to go here. And they, I know the fans are running. The sound of the fans are going here, but we're going to go ahead and check on these. Just make sure the motors are good. I got my voltmeter here. We're going to go ahead and just check our amperage. Amperage is looking good. Shouldn't have to check ohms. Fan is running just fine. Now, if it goes out, I would want to check ohm. They all seem to be operating, but we're going to go ahead. I just want to see... Make sure there's nothing else inside of these bins at all. So climbing on up the bin here, I just want to check the base of this auger here. It's looking good. I want to make sure the tops are looking good as well here. And they are. We do have one separated from the dryer, but that's okay. We're going to utilize that one for soybean storage now. I need to go ahead and safely crawl back. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and check inside of here. Yeah, this one seems to be cleaned out of there. Probably... I got a little bit down there that I think I need to broom out. We're going to go ahead and climb on down safely here. All right. So now we're on the third bin. Just verifying that. Now I do want to I do want to open it up here and just take a look down. Oh, actually, we, you guys, we, yeah, we have some corn in here. We do have some corn. It looks like it's open by the door. So I can go ahead. I can open up that door and we're just going to go ahead and check it real quick. I mean, if it's, if it's good to go. I might actually bring the semi over here and we'll haul a load of corn out today here real quick and just try to get some money back into the farm for us starting up here. All right, just closing up the door. I did check everything. I'm going to come back. We're going to run the sweeper on this one. It looks like there's just a little bit left in there that somebody didn't get out. They left it. So we're going to go ahead. Uh, we got the auger already ready to go over here. We're going to go ahead, and grab our semi, bring that around. All right, opening up the bay door here. We're going to go ahead and grab the Kenworth. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful piece of machinery here. My goodness. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to take this Kenworth right on over. We're going to get her filled up. There we go. Got the tarp already rolled back. We're going to pull underneath the auger, get her fired up, and we're going to get that sweep going, you guys. All right, going ahead, getting the motor shut down there. There we go. We're going to hop on in. Got the cover up. We're going to go ahead, pull on out of here, and head on down to town with this load of corn. I'll catch up with you all once we get back. All right, pulling back into the farm. We're going to go ahead and just park right outside the milk house here. I should just put the truck away right away, but we're going to go ahead and leave it there for right now because we need to get back to bailing. Seems how the daylight is burning, baby. All right, so we're just going to town. We're going to continue bailing here the rest of today, or at least until we get this field done, and then we need to get that truck put back away. But we'll go ahead. We'll use the air compressor and get, get all the uh, hay and dust and everything just blown off of this thing for right now. But aside from that, you guys... As we're continuing here, I want to call this one a video. I hope you all enjoyed today, and hey, if you all did, let me know by smashing that thumbs up button for me, as always. I would greatly appreciate it, and of course, let me know down in the comments below, and hey, if you haven't subscribed yet to the Kingman community, make sure you go ahead and do that as well. It's that little red tab down there. Let's go ahead and smash that thing for me, but anyway, we're going to keep going on bailing here. I'll catch up with you all on the next one. Peace!